Hello everyone, so we're back to another code review video. Today's code review video is about reviewing simple command injection code in PHP, guys. So let me split the codes over here. Uh, let's split the vulnerable code from the secured version. So guys, you know, we're gonna, here, we're gonna see the, the difference between an insecure code, which is vulnerable to command injection, and it is corresponding secured version, how to secure that. These are simple codes, guys. Okay, you're gonna, if you work in code review, guys, you're gonna encounter many thousands, you know, thousands of lines of code that you need to review in order to make sure that they are secure. But for uh, the simplicity, guys, I'm reviewing, you know, simple, uh, multiple line of codes to ensure that the, you get the idea. So the variable code over here, guys, I have the PHP code over here that, you know, gets the input from the user as an IP address, as you can see over here. And it assigns the input from the user to the variable target. And then directly without any validation, it takes the value that is stored in the target and passes it through the shell execution function in PHP, which, you know, pings the IP that has been input by the user. So the vulnerable part, guys, or the vulnerable uh, piece of line, the vulnerable line is not here. It is here. Okay. When you use shell execution, guys, you know, there are many functions. I'm oh, sorry. There are many functions, guys, to execute um, commands in PHP code. You know, you have shell execution, you have system. You have uh, pass through, you have, you know, execution guys. But in our case over here, uh, they we used shell execution, which is totally vulnerable. So there is no input validation. What can a malicious attacker do guys? Uh, so let me show you what they can do. So we put comment over here. So for example, you know guys, if you want to pass multiple commands, uh, to execute them simultaneously in a system, you just, for example, type ping, semicolon, ls, la. So this would ping the IP, and then if I put semicolon and put this command over here, it will do the ping uh, command over here to ping the IP and immediately execute this command on the system, which will list the current files in the directory. Um, that's the issue. Or an attacker can do without, if, we, if not semicolon, they can use and over here, which, you know, which executes the pink and then the uh, listing the current files in the current directory. So that's how attackers can, you know, uh, oh, what is it? That's how attackers, guys, can exploit this vulnerable code. So what to do, guys, to prevent these kind of instances or occurrences from happening? Let's go to the secured version over here. So, so I get the IP as an input from the user. And then, as you can see, I pass the IP address or the value, the, 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 the variable that holds the value, I pass it to different function over here, which is escape shell CMD, guys. What's going to do, guys, is going to restrict multiple commands by escaping following characters. As you can see, these characters, this is, you know, quotes, these characters over here will be escaped if an attacker includes them in the input. So in my case, let me copy these, guys. So let's suppose that instead of entering an IP, you just passed, let's say, an IP address, and you put semicolon, and then you put this malicious command to list the working direct the working file, the files in the current working directory. So with this function in action over here, it's gonna, you know, ping the IP, and then what's gonna happen is, you know, it's gonna list or print out to the screen or spit these out to the screen as they are. So the output will be like output 
you know, so you can see reply from as a ping command. And immediately we're gonna see ls la as an output. It's not gonna spit the uh, work the, the files. It's not gonna execute this command, guys. Why? Because the character, which is semicolon, is included here. Uh, over here, which will be escaped by this function. So let me remove, remove, remove these guys. So a secured version of the, uh, this code, guys, is to use escape shell cmd, and then continue with the rest of the command over here. So just to replace this one here with this one. Another option is, you know, by escaping the, the, the dangerous characters and also escaping the inclusion of multiple arguments. So another scenario, guys, where you see if you need to use execute function or shell execute over here, Make sure to include a scale shell CMD over here. You, you put pink, and here we use escape shell argument, which can escape multiple arguments from being used if the attacker decides to, uh, you know, put malicious command in the input. So target here is the target. We have the variable, and then we have the output. Of course, this uh, line over here, you know, is it cannot be used in the following example, but this is another scenario where you encounter a function that would, you know, ping an IP address based on a user input. So make sure, guys, to use escape shell CMD or escape shell argument to make sure that your code is secure against command injection, which is uh, very different from, you know, code injection, guys. The difference between code injection and command injection is, you know, in the case of co uh, command, in co uh, sorry, in the case of code injection, you have a full code, okay, to be executed in the system. But the command, you are inserting specific um, a line of code or line of uh, command into an existing function that executes input uh, in the backend. So this is, you know, a simple code review, guys for command injection. Hope you find this video somewhat informative and I hope we can continue on doing code review uh, videos. It's going to be very helpful for you. Uh, and that is for today. Thank you so much.